The outstanding question, of course, is, is Florida prepared for self-government? We'll take that up at some length tomorrow. Meanwhile, Eric Eggers conducted a lot of research with the Government Accountability Institute. He's the author of the new book, Fraud, How the Left Plans to Steal the Next Election. Now, that book was written just before this last election and actually contains a section on Brenda Snipes. The very prescient Eric Eggers joins us tonight. Eric, thanks a lot for coming on. So Brenda Snipes is a name that most of us were not familiar with until very, very recently. Her position is that she's being unfairly attacked as a person. MSNBC, MSNBC's position is she's being attacked because of her skin color. Why do you think she's being attacked? Well, I think she's not very good at her job, Tucker. Uh, and I heard the quote earlier that this is the first time she's been under attack. Um, that would seem to be another thing that Ms. Snipes is not very good at counting because, unfortunately, her track record is littered with missteps and violations of the law. I mean, in 2018, this election, we know that illegal ballots will count in the governor's race and in the Senate race because they were incapable of cleanly separating illegal ballots from legal ballots once they've been opened from their envelopes. So we know that's going to happen. But this is not the first time. Uh, she's admitted under oath that she's allowed illegal immigrants and felons to cast ballots in Broward County in violation of numerous laws. You mentioned the time she destroyed the ballots that uh, seemed to have given a boost to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Uh, her office has been found guilty of illegally opening ballots inappropriately, right, and without uh, proper oversight. And so, unfortunately, and actually, it's a fun fact, when she was challenged on that topic, why is your office opening ballots outside the presence of the official canvassing board, her argument in court was, well, I guess I didn't understand the meaning of the word canvassing. So, uh, unfortunately, her history is consistent with what we're seeing in the present, and it augurs not very good things for Florida. So why wouldn't this be a concern of the Justice Department? I mean, this is a federal election. We have a Voting Rights Act. If she's breaking the law and admitting it, why wouldn't the Fed swoop in? Well, you know, that's a great question. Uh, it's a question a lot of people have asked, and all the, the attention that, um, you know, that Br Broward County is receiving right now is, how in the world is this woman still in office? Now, there's a difference between not being very good at your job and then violating criminal statutes. Uh, and I'm not right. an attorney, but what I can tell you is, is that people, I think, have historically been afraid to challenge Ms. Snipes or Dr. Snipes, quite honestly, because of what you mentioned. Uh, they're afraid of being challenged as and called a racist. Uh, when uh, Brenda Snipes' county office attorney uh, pushed forward and she was being criticized because she donated to political campaigns and actually one of the county commissioners who was on the opposing end of one of the campaigns the Broward County attorney donated to, uh, the, the, county, the, the elections county attorney played the race card and tried to rally support by generating a bunch of African American attorneys to show up in solidarity. Um, you know, eight of the nine members of the county commission when this issue came up were Democrats and quite honestly you don't do very well as a political official in Broward County if you attack African American Democrats. Uh, even though Rick Scott's a Republican, you know, he obviously had statewide aspirations. How well do you think you do statewide in Florida if you're perceived as a racist? I mean, this is how democracy dies, isn't it? When you have an openly corrupt person in charge of counting the votes, admitting in public that she's breaking the law and no one can do anything about it? I mean, why is that not an actual threat to democracy? Yeah, and I think the larger uh, threat, Tucker, to be honest, is she's demonstrated that she's not very good at counting votes. How good do you think she's been at preventing illegal votes from actually being cast? I mean, we know that there's an effort to manipulate this election through illegal voting. There were 108 attempts through double votes in Miami-Dade in this election, which means people tried to cast a second ballot uh, in the same election. The attorneys for Bill Nelson and Andrew Gillum have been criticized because they objected to the removal or exclusion of known non-citizen votes in Palm Beach County. So, you know, my concern, whatever you want to say about these 83,000 ballots yeah. that showed up after election night, uh, what confidence level do we have about the ballots that have already been cast well, that's and exactly were they right. cast by legal voters? That's exactly right. It's, it's a if you care about democracy and everyone claims to, these are real questions. Eric, thank you very much for that. My pleasure, Tucker. For your book.